So in the previous video, we looked at how to actually create this type of function where we pass in an array, it automatically adds to that array. And if there isn't enough space, it automatically reallocates it such that there is enough space. Um, and what I wanted to take a look at today was exactly this reallocation. Um, the amount of memory that we are reallocating every time there is not enough space right now is equal to double the old capacity, double the old size, basically. Um, but why is that? Why do we actually use uh, double and not, for example, triple? Or don't we just add maybe, I don't know, uh, 10 more integers to the array? That's what I want to talk about today. So suppose this is our array, let's say, right? This one, two, three, four elements is our array. And let's say that uh, we have added all of them here, right? 11, uh, 17, 18, 19, if I can write, and then 20. And we want to add another one. Then what we do in this current um, implementation is we basically double it, right? So we go like this, and this is gonna be the same, of course. I'm not going to write the numbers again, but the size is going to double. So we have like eight spaces here, but in fact, we only have one, two, three, four, and five slots used. And those three are right now just well available for later, for later use if we need to add more. Okay, so this is one way of doing it. And you can imagine that once we have more than eight, so let's say we have one more than this, we're gonna double it again and have 16. Then we're gonna have, again, quite a few, uh, quite a few number of bytes free that are not actually used, but we are allocating them. So instead of doing this doubling, what if we just, you know, simply make space for just one more element, right? Like that, and whenever there is one more element, I'm going to actually allocate more space for it. Well, we can try to implement this. It's actually very simple, right? Instead of multiplying it by two, all we have to do is, well, I'm going to put it first into parentheses because I'm going to add to this capacity instead. I'm just going to say plus, and let's say plus one. And same thing here. So I'm going to just add one to it. And if we try to launch this, let's say here like that, I'm going to do main, I should compiled perfectly fine. You can see that the array basically has allocated 35 space for 35 integers and we have 35 integers, right? And there's nothing wrong with this. Now, this looks fine, but what happens here is actually pretty bad for the program itself. It slows down a lot simply because we are telling our program to reallocate memory every time and reallocating memory or, or rather writing or moving memory from one place to another is costly in computer science, right? And uh, if we do this at every single addition, that would take quite a long time. So basically, all in all, when, uh, whenever we have n elements to add to this array, right, we are doing n reallocations, right? n reallocations. Which is not great. Okay, and whenever we were doing this reallocation where we were multiplying the capacity by 2, I'm going to change it here as well, right? Well, how many times were we reallocating in fact? And I can actually print here a message saying, uh, I don't know, uh, we reallocated. And let's do a backslash n here. Great. And it seems like I forgot the backslash n here as well. That's fine. And if I do here GCC and main, you will notice that we have only reallocated it four times, right? So uh, if I change it back to plus one, so I'll say here plus one, and then do this and this. You can see that, yeah, basically n times we have reallocated minus four the initial capacity, sure. And as you may have noticed, we have reallocated only four times, right? Because we only have to get to 64, and by doubling each time, so we had initially four, we doubled it once to get to eight, we doubled it again to get to 16, we doubled it again to get to 32, that is three times, and then we had a few more elements, so we double it again to 64, we only had four um, doubles, right? So in our case, in the general sense, um, really we only get uh, log, in this case, log two of n reallocations. So in the first situation, we were doing about uh, 31 reallocations, not considering the initial ones. And in the second case, we only did 
four, right? And uh, if we plug in here 35, we will be getting actually the, well, we'll be getting six in our case, but if we take into consideration the initial values, then we only get four. So this is a nice implementation that works very well, especially for uh, medium to large sized arrays, right? If we have uh, to add maybe a thousand or 10,000 elements to the array, this would only do a couple of reallocations and we'll be done with it. And you don't have to worry about reallocating ever again. But for smaller arrays, such as let's say an array of 10 elements that we want to work with, well, the first method, we are really just reallocating it six times. And for our own method of doubling every time, we're reallocating it, well, two, two times basically, because we start from four, eight, and then 16, right? But we are wasting a little bit of memory, right? This, uh, this number, this uh, multiplication, you can actually tweak it a little bit. So you, you don't have to leave it at two, you can leave it at 1.5 or uh, three if you, if you so desire. Uh, depends how much, well, how much space basically you think is okay to waste, right? Um, but another thing to consider is the initial capacity that we can change, right? The initial capacity is actually quite important and would be useful to set it to a sensible, fairly large, number, right? In my case, maybe I will send it, I will set it to, let's say 16, right? Because after 16, if you double it two times, it's already 64 integers. And uh, after three times, it's already a hundred uh, or more integers. It's perfectly fine for my use case, but depends what exactly you are doing. Um, if you are starting uh, with, let's say, you know that uh, in at initialization, you're going to add something like a thousand elements, then start with that initial capacity. And only after that, you you will see uh, reallocations. So in our case, if we launch this, let's try to do that, you will see that we only reallocate two times because we're going from 16 to 32 and then from 32 to 64 and then only after another 30, uh, no, 29 elements, we're gonna get another reallocation. So this doubling of the capacity is actually a very sensible default and many standard libraries actually use it because um, it doesn't get in the way of large arrays and with smaller arrays, there always can be a sensible default that you can initialize to or you can simply ignore that because um, reallocating three or four times doesn't hurt at all. I mean, when it comes to really large arrays, the reallocation can really cost uh, a lot. And uh, that's why multiplication of the capacity is very important, right? You can multiply it by two, by three, by whatever number you see fit. Just keep in mind that whenever you multiply, you're actually going to have some you know, wasted space such that maybe you're not gonna use this much, but uh, later on, maybe you will. So based on how much you multiply it with, right? If you multiply it by two, you will always have a maximum of 50% uh, minus one wasted space. If you multiply it by three, you'll get a maximum of 66% minus one uh, wasted space, right? But if you multiply it by 1.5, you're going to get less than 50%, which is uh, probably where uh, everybody will be okay with. All right, that's about it for this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you do have any questions, leave them down comments below or on our Discord server. Again, the source code can be found in the description below. Take care. Bye.